welcome back teacher x i'm ddog a teacher and first of all we're back to four stella did not expect that video to blow up of utopia but man your fandom for stella is just a strong one because you decided to come give my video some love now this is what it was recommended to me in the comments of my reaction to utopia save our lives utopia was like part the second part of a whole story and stuff i remember during the things we were i was listing off like the different acts and whatnot that was it was talking about in the video and it started on like act four i think i think like act one two and three is during this i'm not sure i don't know what do i remember about four stella there are four vocals uh you got bass dude phantom of the opera dude and two other dudes uh <laughs> that's widely they're all very very good is what i remember it's very classical it's very vocal heavy of course it is it's for vocalist people and you know what you all told me to watch this and i am going to do that just out of the kindness and as a thank you for making that video like more than four thousand views that's fucking crazy dude okay uh if you like this video at any point in time click the like button let's go ahead and watch this shall we see if we can have some fun stuff don't forget I do a second listen through usually to talk about my stuff. Beat Interactive. You mean? Give me some dramatic ass shit. So far, very dramatic. The World Tree, are we playing God of War? Love that shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna be one of those reactors that just point out three seconds in and make stupid jokes about it. I hate being like that. Love the violins. Give me more of that. Hello. I'm here and the world is That's the dude who sounds like fan of the opera dude, if I remember. Or that's the dude who sang fan of the opera. I don't know. I remember his uh, his vocals. Good English, by the way. Good English. Oh my god, that's the, those high notes, dude. Is this entirely in English? I'll be very happy if it is, too. Oh my god, listen to the bass, dude. Gotta love bass, dude. Oh, hi. I remember you. Makes me want to like kill a god in some sort of video game. <laughs> I don't care what base dude's name is, I'm calling him base dude. I like him. <laughs> mm. Ten out of ten, keep going. Give me more. I am not satisfied yet. I want all the bass dude in my life and that other guy. <laughs> I like all four of them. It's hard to pick a favorite. I love how you kept one person. Yeah, I love how it kept one person going while everyone else dropped off. Oh, that was neat. If I ever created a really epic video game, they're doing my soundtrack. Soundtrack. I'm giving, I'm getting them on there. They're going to be doing the credit song, the opening sequence. 
fucking when the main character dies, it's gonna be fucking great. <laughs> mm. Key change? I think that's what that was. Stop motion. At the end? Oh, man. How was at the end? You still have like 45 seconds left. Give me more. Give me a credit sequence with more singing. A credit sequence. I can't say the word. I'm out of words. Is this what. <clears throat> excuse me. Is this what leads into Utopia, I'm assuming? I gotta let them finish at least. Eat the apple. Do it. They're delicious. Do you want to keep the doctor away? That's how you do it. There's the credit sequence. That was lovely. Let's turn you down for a second. Okay, turning you down. Cool, cool. First of all, I'm out of breath. So the cool thing about like, let's, let's talk about this, shall we? The cool thing about Forstella compared to other groups is that one my nerdiness in my like my music my very very tiny music background nerdiness comes out i love being able to hear their harmonies next to each other i love being able to hear them play with each other i love it being able to hear don't take that word out of context don't take that sentence out of context i love being able to hear like their voices go back and forth which each person different ones taking the melody different ones taking the harmony different ones going freaking bass dude mvp dude i don't care i do not care that uh i don't think there's a part where he is forefront for a long time like how in utopia he had his like own own verse and everything but man he just carries some of this stuff just oh vocally so good i love his timbre love him doing stuff it makes me feel good and my ears feel good when I listen to that. Um, besides that, besides Bass Dude and me gushing over him, which I'm gonna learn his name eventually, I swear. I know it's been told me 400 times in the comments. Um, this is really good. I think I like this song more than Utopia. Just because it's more ballady. Is it more ballady? I should have listened to Utopia again. I can't make comparisons if I don't actually have the comparisons to make, if that makes sense. Um, let me let me pause you for a second, sir. Uh, I really love how like in normal K-pop groups, which are we going to call this a K-pop group? It's a vocal group. It's a Korean vocal group. I don't know from what I've been told by you all in the comments is that they are very much a cross between a K-pop group and stuff like they they can be in between both or something. To be honest, it was hard to explain. And so like. I think some people said that people consider them a K-pop group, but some people don't consider them a K-pop group or like they're technically a vocal group is what you would call them because they're, you know, there's, there's no dancing in here, dare I say, but there's a lot of singing. And really, I liked the singing part of it. It's just interesting that I'm able to listen to this and I could listen to like, you know, the grand symphony of it, the very instrumental symphonies of the strings and the big bass and the big drums and that kind of stuff, especially with Utopia and whatnot. And um, how I don't have to listen most on the production when it comes to like, you know, a drum beat or like uh, d d the synths and stuff like that. Like it's a two totally different. It, this is a much more classical thing. And so like. Honestly, I I mean, I really I really like it. I like this group. I'm probably going to watch their bad romance thing because, man, as a gay, I've got to listen to Lady Gaga stuff. That's just what happens. Uh. <laughs> I think, didn't they cover Bad Romance? I'm like 99% sure they covered Bad Romance. It was like something that went viral of theirs. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to go with. I, I really like this. We're going to keep this short. It's already at 10 minutes long. This is a long music video. Uh, so let's go ahead and go into outro time, shall we? While we just have them, you know, 
being in the background of this while I do outro time. If you like this video, click the like button. It makes me feel good about myself. Comment, tell me other things. Man, for Stella people, I really appreciate you giving love to that video. And I just want to let you know that now. Um, do you who like for Stella, so whatever you their fandom is called, don't know what they're called. I, nope, still have no idea. Um, do you like any other like more traditional K-pop groups? Do you, if you do, please leave comment below. I would love to react to some of them just to see what taste that you have. And um, lastly, subscribe. Will I do more for Stella stuff? Stuff probably. I, I'm very interested to see like how they would turn bad romance into something different. And I know that dude who um, who I keep saying fan of the opera dude. I know he covered Phantom of the Opera, so that would be interesting to hear as well. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that other jazz, um, and we'll see what happens from here. Goodbye, everybody. Hold on. I need to pause this, don't I? You, sir. I know. The bass dude is just, man, bass dude is lovely.